Okay. <laughs> the kids will tell you. Oh, Down. let's take up. Oh. Well, because of... Oh! Oh! oh. 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 What's up guys? Today we're predicting Gervonta Davis versus Frank Martin. Now this is a huge fight on June 15. And my prediction is that Gervonta Davis probably wins by KO, or if it reaches decision by split decision. If it does reach decision, this could be a very tough fight for him. Frank Martin is a very technical fighter who's beaten some good opponents in Michelle Rivera. And he's beaten Artem Harut Yunyan, who isn't maybe a top opponent, but he was a bronze medalist and has some good form and technique. There's a small chance that Frank Martin could win this fight by decision, but it's very unlikely. Even if Gervonta Davis doesn't KO him, it should be close enough that Gervonta get, takes it by split decision. Gervonta Davis has been destroying all his opponents. He beat Ryan Garcia, Isaac Cruz, Rolando Romero, Leo Santa Cruz, He's done really well for himself. But he's fighting a very technical Frank Martin. This fight isn't 90-10, 80-20. It's much closer than that. Frank is a good fighter. He's very technical. Frank Martin is a good fighter. And he has some form of knockout power. By the way, you can see highlights of Frank Martin above. This fight is more of a 60-40 fight. Gervonta Davis probably wins this fight. Maybe 65-35. But it's closer than what many people will think. Thus, I predict that Gervonta Tank Davis will win by probably by KO or split decision. Now for the other main event. David Benavides, the Mexican monster versus Alexander Vostik, the very strong light heavyweight who's only lost to Arthur Peterbiev. And was and ha was having he was having a close fight before he eventually got stopped. I'm gonna directly say my my prediction. David Benavides takes this win by KO, TKO, probably by TKO. Uh, if it does reach a decision, uh, David, ben David Benavides will probably outpoint him by a bit, maybe uh, 116, 112, 117, 111. Maybe. Now, Kvoznik is a tough fighter who doesn't give up. He'll go to the end, and Arthur Beterbiev made him reach that end. But Benavides is a monster. He is very relentless. He will charge forward, he's very aggressive, keeps going forward, no matter who he faces till now. And he keeps this pressure up for almost a full fight, for the whole fight. You can see him in the 11th round still charging in, throwing punches, keeps throwing punches. That's, he's, a tough, he's a tough opponent, he's a tough guy. Benavides also has this Mexican style, a very entertaining style, you know, the forward style, the action-oriented style, the one where he doesn't back down, he just keeps going forward, proceeds forward. Now, many people say he stands like a punching bag when he goes forward, so he can take a lot of punches, but you could see he, he, he moves well enough where he's beaten some good opponents recently, like Caleb Plant, Demetrius Andrade. Now, some people will say Demetrius Andrade isn't a good opponent, or I don't know what, he's never fought a champion or something. But Demetrius Andrade was undefeated and avoided by many fighters before David Benavides stopped him. Thus, my decision is, Benavides will probably win this by TKO, I think 80-90%. And there's a small chance if it reaches decision, Benavides takes it all. Again, also takes it. You can see highlights of David Benavides right above. Now for the, the next big fight, Gary Antoine Russell versus Alberto Coelho. I'll directly say what my prediction is, and that's Gary Antoine Russell probably KOs or TKOs Alberto. Coelho is a good fighter. He has some knockout power, low knockout power, but he has some knockout power. But he's not in the class of Gary Russell. Gary Russell is a class above, has a high 100% KO ratio, 17 wins, 17 KOs. And uh, so I'll directly say my prediction, Gary Antoine Russell. KOs or TKOs, Alberto Puello. Now for Carlos Adams versus Terrell Gosha. This fight's going to be a very close fight, and uh, it's hard to predict. Terrell Gosha has survived many top uh, top opponents and done very well against many top opponents. Carlos Adams has a high KOs ratio and has done very and is a very strong fighter who's durable. My prediction is that this is a split decision victory for Carlos Adams. He'll barely take this win. But this is a very hard fight to predict. It's a 50-50 fight, I would say. This is a hard fight to predict. But I, I'll give it to Carlos Adams. Now for Elijah Garcia versus Kyron Davis. 
My prediction is that Elijah Garcia wins by KO or TKO. And if it does, if it's not that, of course, it's a decision. But it probably is a KO or TKO. Kyron Davis is a normal fighter. He's fought Benavides and got stopped, but he gave a lot. Of, he showed a lot of heart, so he'll show a lot of heart, I think, to Elijah Garcia too. And Elijah Garcia will have to maybe go a bit out of his way to actually stop Kyron Davis. Garcia has been beating many opponents, and he looks in good shape. So he should win by KO or TKO, probably, or at least by decision. By the way, you can see highlights of Elijah Garcia up above. So yeah, to sum up, my five predictions are as follows. Javante Davis probably wins by KO versus Frank Martin. David Benavides probably wins by TKO versus Alexander Bostik. Gary Antoine Russell probably wins by KO versus Alberto Coelho. Carlos Adams probably wins by split decision versus Terrell Gosha. But this is a 50-50 fight, it's a close fight. And Elijah Garcia probably wins by KO or TKO versus Kyron Davis. Thank you all for watching and soon I'll be predicting Subriel Matias versus Liam Parro. Take care everyone and see you soon. Bye. Out of Vodzik early is what he's giving, the consistent jab. Looking to set up the right hand. Down goes Rodriguez here in round replay.